For the first time in more than 60 years, the Uwa'u has been observed on Mauna Kea. University of Hawaii at Hilo researchers located the endangered native seabird and shared these images taken at the nesting site in May of 2021. The rare bird has not been recorded on the mountain since 1954. When we saw them for the first time, it was almost a moment of disbelief. Um, because for me, like we'd been looking for them for so long that they were kind of almost like this ghost that we were just chasing on the Mauna and to actually see them just like really like connected the dots and, and really cemented like how important what we were doing is. Okay, so aloha mai kako everyone. Um, I just want to talk about uh, the documentation of the Uwa'u on Mauna Kea. Brett Mossman gave a presentation on the effort to find the seabird on Mauna Kea back in 2019 when audio was first recorded of the endangered species at that location. So we had recorders out from May through August, like I said, and birds were detected every month that they were deployed. So it's pretty exciting to have them there. Um, and it's also pretty exciting too, because um, Kanakaleo Nui is, 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 um, is the large voice of the native man, basically. And so it's kind of cool that we're getting the, the voices of the Uwa'u at this important cultural site. Um, and then it's also uh, important to note that it's, it's just under 10,000 feet in elevation here. So these birds are going pretty far up um, uh, compared to er other areas in their, in their range. And it's also important to note, too, that this is near one of the historical observations of these birds. In the 1950s, they had Uwa'u kind of on that eastern flank of um, Mauna Kea. So, and then here, just so you all can get as excited as I was when I heard this, um, this is the uh, first call of the Uwa'u on Mauna Kea since 1963. So yeah, so I was pretty excited when I got that. And I actually got the news when I was hiking around at like 13,000 feet looking for other ones. So it was, it was, it was a good day. Um, but anyway, so and then there you can really hear how they got their Hawaiian name when they do that. So yeah, that's how they got that Uwa'u name. So. According to the university, the birds forage at sea and fly inland after sunset to build underground nests in higher elevation areas throughout the Hawaiian islands. They are currently listed as an endangered species under state and federal policies. Using sound recorders, infrared and thermal imagery, researchers scan remote locations looking for the rare creature. Flight activity was first detected in April 2021, which was followed by the discovery of a nest burrow. Traps were set up to deter predators such as cats and mongoose. The Department of Land and Natural Resources has provided predator traps and a camera to capture the bird's activity. UH Hilo researchers will continue their work on Mauna Kea through the end of the year. We, we found the birds. Now it's, it's up to us to make sure that they, they stay there and they thrive. And if we can do that, we can restore both their ecological function and their cultural function given enough time.